going to meet up with Andy. I was desperate for the toilet. So I've come into the ground early. Andy's going to send his predictions over my way. So I'll probably show you them now. Well, I'm not meeting Dean before the game today because he's getting old and can't control his bodily functions. So he's asked me to film my predictions for the game today. I'm going to go for a 2-0 to Villa. Um, I think it'll be edgy, I think it'll be uh, quite feisty. I, I wouldn't be surprised for a red card. Uh, me and Dad were talking, we think it might be Hutton or Grealish, possibly Snodgrass might react to something. Uh, but I'm going to go 2-0 Villa. Uh, Dad thinks 1-1. My goal scorers, I'm going to go for Hogan and Chester. Uh, and fingers crossed we can be in an automatic promotion spot by the end of the day. I'm still maintaining what I said in the podcast the other day. I honestly believe it's going to be a cagey encounter, but with, there's a lot of incentive today for Villa uh, because they could go into seconds, they could go into automatic promotion space. But not only that, it's the second city derby. The Villa players are going to be up for it, the fans are going to be up for it. I, I think it's going to be 1-0 or 2-1 today. So that's my predictions anyway. Enjoy the game.
makes it 2-0. Right, I'm back at the house. I've had time to digest a game. 2-0 to Villa, and you know what? I think it was thoroughly deserved. First half, I would say we were very lucky that Sam Gallagher didn't bury that. John Terry uh, made a bit of a mistake and he slipped up. Uh, and I honestly, where I was stood, I thought it was a stick on goal, but it hit the post and then on the rebound, he blazed it over and we were very, very lucky. Second half, you know what? We saw off the game really well. Uh, the, the first goal was a really good, good goal, really good assist from Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish has been unreal recently. Uh, since he's come back from his injury, he's really rejuvenated himself and you know his career because it was at one point where he he was he was out the door at one point in my opinion. You know what? Jack Grealish man of the match and you know assisted Adoma. Adoma scored yet again. And then the second goal, I got carried away at Villa Park. I was saying to people, that's probably goal of the season. But when I've actually looked back at it, I wouldn't say it's quite goal of the season, but it's probably one of the most important goals that Villa will score this season. But it was a well-taken volley from outside the penalty area by Conor Horahan, who I don't think he had a great game personally. But, you know, he's got us the goal, and I suppose that's what's important. Really happy with the performance. Uh, what a great atmosphere it was. That's all I've really got to say. I'm going to uh, now quickly edit this. And... I do believe the next game I'm going to be going to is probably Villa versus QPR and that's on the 3rd of March. So it's going to be a couple of weeks where I won't be at Villa Park. I've got to go back to work unfortunately. But if you've enjoyed this video, uh, subscribe because you'll probably see more. Like it, comment on it, let, let me know what you think in the comments section of the game and Villa season so far. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.